Bell peppers, scientifically known as capsicum annuum, are a popular vegetable that belongs to the nightshade family. They are native to Central and North America and have become widely cultivated around the world. Bell peppers are not only delicious but also packed with essential nutrients, including vitamins A and C, as well as dietary fiber. Growing bell peppers at home can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience. Whether you have a spacious garden or limited space on a balcony or patio, you can successfully cultivate these vibrant vegetables with the right care and attention. Let's explore the step-by-step -step process of growing bell peppers at home. 1. Choosing the right variety. Before starting your bell pepper growing journey, it's important to choose the right pepper variety that suits your preferences and growing conditions. Bell peppers come in various shapes, sizes, and colors, each with its own unique flavor profile. Common varieties include California Wonder, Sweet Chocolate, Golden Bell, and Purple Beauty. Consider factors such as the size of the plant, the time it takes to mature, and the desired color of the peppers. Additionally, check if the chosen variety is suitable for your climate, as some peppers thrive in warm climates, while others prefer cooler conditions. 2. Starting seeds indoors. To give your bell peppers a head start, it's recommended to start the seeds indoors before transplanting them into your garden or containers. Start the seeds about 8 to 10 weeks before the last expected frost date in your area. Fill seed trays or small pots with a good quality seed starting mix. Plant the seeds about a quarter to a half inch deep and cover them lightly with soil. Place the trays or pots in a warm location, maintaining a temperature of around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Ensure the soil remains consistently moist but not waterlogged. Once the seedlings have emerged and developed their first true leaves, thin them out, keeping only the strongest and healthiest plants. Provide adequate light by placing the seedlings near a south-facing window or using artificial grow lights. 3. Preparing the planting area. Before transplanting the seedlings, prepare the planting area to provide optimal growing conditions for bell peppers. Choose a sunny location that receives at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight daily. The soil should be well-draining, fertile, and rich in organic matter. Start by removing any weeds and loosening the soil to a depth of 10 to 12 inches. Incorporate compost or well-rotted manure to improve soil fertility and drainage. It's also a good practice to conduct a soil test to check the pH level and make any necessary amendments to ensure it falls within the optimal range of 6.0 to 7.0. 4. Transplanting Seedlings when the seedlings have developed a sturdy stem and at least four to six leaves, they are ready to be transplanted into the garden or containers. Ensure all risk of frost has passed before moving them outdoors. Dig holes in the prepared planting area, spacing them around 18 to 24 inches apart. Gently remove the seedlings from their pots or trays, being careful not to damage the roots. Place each seedling in a hole and fill it with soil firming it gently around the base of the plant. 5. Watering and mulching. Proper watering is crucial for the healthy growth of bell peppers. Water deeply, providing around 1 inch of water per week, either through rainfall or irrigation. Mulching around the plants helps to retain moisture, suppress weeds, and maintain a more stable soil temperature. Apply a layer of organic mulch, such as straw or wood chips, around the base of the plants, keeping it a few inches away from the stems. 6. Providing support. Some bell pepper varieties, especially those that produce larger fruits, may benefit from support to prevent the branches from bending or breaking under the weight of the peppers. Install stakes or cages around the plants at the time of transplanting to provide support as they grow. Gently tie the branches to the stakes or place the branches within the cage openings as they grow taller. This will help maintain an upright and sturdy plant structure, ensuring better air circulation and easier harvesting. 7. Fertilizing. To promote healthy growth and maximize fruit production, it's important to provide adequate nutrients to bell pepper plants. Before planting, incorporate a slow-release organic fertilizer into the soil according to the package instructions. Once the plants start to develop flowers, Apply a balanced fertilizer with higher phosphorus content to encourage fruit formation. 
Follow the instructions on the fertilizer packaging and avoid over-fertilizing, as excessive nitrogen can result in lush foliage but fewer fruits. 8. Pest and Disease Management Bell peppers can be susceptible to various pests and diseases, but with proper care, you can minimize the risks. Regularly inspect your plants for common pests like aphids, caterpillars, and flea beetles. If detected, consider organic pest control methods like handpicking, introducing beneficial insects, or using insecticidal soap. Common diseases that affect bell peppers include blossom end rot, bacterial spot, and powdery mildew. Ensure proper watering and avoid excessive nitrogen fertilization to prevent blossom end rot. 9. Harvesting and Storing Bell peppers are ready for harvest when they have reached their mature color and have a firm and glossy texture. Use a sharp knife or pruning shears to cut the peppers from the plant, leaving a short stem attached. Avoid pulling or twisting the peppers, as it may damage the plant. Store harvested bell peppers in a cool and dry place, such as the refrigerator, where they can stay fresh for up to two weeks. Alternatively, you can freeze or can them for long-term storage and use. Growing bell peppers at home can be a delightful and rewarding experience. By following these steps and providing the right care, you can enjoy a bountiful harvest of colorful and delicious peppers. Experiment with different varieties and recipes to make the most of your homegrown bell peppers, adding flavor and vibrancy to your culinary creations. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching the How to Academy. Happy gardening!